ladies and gentlemen, do I have a game for you? We have some need her back on the Korean server. The new patch is of course out and we have a bunch of different games here with a bunch of different builds and uh, need her has been working out some different different builds here uh number one of course he's starting doran's blade kind of a suboptimal choice here when you look at the money you would get more out of a long sword and three health potions so that's a little bit of a question mark he's going to be facing off against a Silas, which uh, will be very interesting because Silas is a matchup that until level 5 you can definitely kill on Viego, but after that it becomes much more difficult. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see two invades. Of course, one much stronger than the other. One is not like the other. Yeah. Mm, no surprise, Pikachu. Ooh, as we might be able to get a kill here. Need her. Not in position. Oh, we gotta be careful. Ah! Run. Run. Run, 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 run. She's gonna get slowed. Bomb plating. One twenty ward placed here. Ended up being fine. Here we got a little bit of gold. But that's it. Ooh. Silas gonna lose a lot of ah, farm now. What well, Nidor could have been more aggressive here, no? Could have uh, walked in there. Yeah. Yeah, he does want... If, if Silas pulls himself into him there, Nidhu just punishes him incredibly hard with the level 2. Get stuck on the minion. Doesn't really get anything done here. Of course, very well played so far by the Silas. And oh, we might be planning something here in the bot lane. Zan Rakan. Caught in a difficult situation. Gragas. He's planning to answer it. Although the pathing, little ineffective. But here, the dive is now commencing. Graves, a little bit. Playing it a little bit too slow here, though. It's Gragas. Yeah, will be body slamming in there. That's a trade. One for one so far. Asaya. Taking a lot of damage here. Will go. Ooh! Ooh, flashes the comet and will be alive. So now Gragas has a field day here. Double kill. So of course, we turn our attention back to the mid lane in question. It's doing pretty fine. Just poking out the Silas. However, one problem with the Silas is that at this point, we are not capable anymore to really punish him that hard. I mean, still, still a little bit, but once he gets level 5, it becomes very difficult. The more points he puts into W, the harder. Oh, very beautiful W there. The Ignite comes out for the potential auto attack. But Silas manages to stay alive. We gotta be a little bit careful. The flash out of the Silas, that's good enough for us. Just need her. Needs to be a little bit careful here. But, so far, definitely not in a bad situation. He's gonna lose a lot of XP here through the Rakan moving through mid. However, of course, he gets it in and the teleport doesn't hurt him too much as he gets a recall here that is relatively okay. Unless Silas decides to cancel him. But he doesn't. It's pretty okay. It's fine. Hmm. Okay, okay. Of course, of course it's Addy. I, I was like, is this a is this a Addy? Yeah, this is a Addy. Of course, of course. You you can tell from the you can tell from the playstyle this is Addy. The absolute madman. Need her, a Larry, Addy. Very often in the same team. Or in the same game, I'd say. It's pretty high ranked. Oh, 
All challenges, of course. The flash. Irelia gets a kill here. Very good. A big trade onto the Silas. And so far, need her. Definitely in a comfortable lead here. Now you can't say he isn't. Definitely doing well for himself. Mr. Gragas. Ready for the gang. Kind of impossible to gank though. The Silas. As long as he doesn't go all in, of course. And you can see how... Nidhu is very valiant. At pressing Q at this Viego. You, uh... Your Q might not deal a lot of damage. But it ramps, you know. It's enough damage to make a difference. Yeah, you can see how aggressive Neater is playing this one. I know, yeah, this is a... Uh, ah, unlucky dude. Silas gets a lot here. As the Vi. No Q flash. Available. The Silas goes back in. Need her now. Half HP. Silas. A little bit lower. But the, the important thing here is of course the mana bar for the Silas. Silas now out of mana. As, yeah. Need her just finds a kill. Well got on out of there again. Jumps in. Will possess the graves here as well. And he's huge. Snowball is real. Real good. Oh, push it out. Push it out. See how he lines everything up around the Q damage. Smite. Puts that red buff into Gragas's pocket. And Addy is here for the counterplay. The Violet will deliver Silas to certain death. And Eddie stays alive. Created chaos in typical Eddie fashion. Need her loves it. Right? This is... Uh, Eddie absolutely just has a read on what needs to happen here. Just leaves top lane. <coughs> Doesn't really care. Presses R on people. And well... Larry definitely, uh, definitely quite ahead. But is that going to matter? Is what Eddie says. We'll see, we'll see. So far, this Greg is absolutely huge. However, of course, a fed Irelia, especially with the new items, definitely still rather scary. Let's see. Are we looking to collect? We're looking to collect the Herald here. Plays in this elo, of course, made around objectives. As the bot lane says, we can kind of stop this, but should probably not. See if the Silas is there as well. It's just way too many people. Herald goes over. Where is it going to be summoned? Feels like it's most likely going to be a bot lane or mid lane summon. We'll see. Ready. Ready. To uh, proxy again. Vi's pretty good at this, yeah. It's not a bad idea. Need her will be moving in. Not spotted out so far. Silas taking a recall. Now spotted. The flash will lock him down. Silas. Oh, grabbing the Rakan ultimate will get on out of there, though. Very good job, as now Zeri will find herself in a suboptimal position at best. And very good play by Zaya. We'll pick up that kill. Beautifully done. 
And the Flash out of the graves. Flash will pick that one up. Yes, thank you very much. Take that money. As Eddie. Trading some trades with the Irelia, but Irelia. Possibly going to get the tower here. We'll see. Yeah, she gets the tower here for sure now. And that's kind of scary. Um, the game generally wide open, but top lane still not in the best of situations here. And uh, I mean, he's holding on, right? He is uh, holding on in farm. It's not like he's not getting any farm. It's definitely not a crazy amount of farm. very interesting i think that eddie's strategy actually kind of even got buffed by the new patch changing the waves and right, gragas ultimate good dodge let's need to just spaces that one out and picks up the kill Right, we're possessing the Silas, which doesn't really have a lot of power, unfortunately. Okay, we're ulting out. That's good. Larry, giving his best, but the gold will be collected here. Only by the Gragas, though. A Gragas who will deliver a kill to the Graves. Uh, to the Viego. Now, is in possession of Graves. Is Graves capable of killing Irelia is the question. The body slam, Irelia down, taken down to 50% HP. Now it's 20, but she is doing the balanced. Onto the Gragas, will take up that shutdown, but then she gets immediately taken down here. Is Addy setting up another kill here for Viego? Yeah, of course. Of course, of course. Viego will take that one for himself again. Five and O oh. reads the stat line as Gragas unfortunately was shut down here, which is very scary. A lot of money going over to the Irelia. Irelia using it to buy a wit's end here, which uh, I mean is only going to counter the Gragas, right? But probably the most important member, and also, of course. Gives you quite a bit of damage, so it's not not like Wit's End is a pure defensive item. It is a offensive item with some defensive stats, as the Flash will take down the Graves here once again. Thank you very much. Now we gotta be a little bit careful here. Okay, Silas not gonna get Dove. Viego though is planning to dive the Zeri here. Oh, that can be kind of difficult. Now the fi the fist, the mist, will give it away. Ooh. Good flash by Zeri. But she will still go down to the Q. You try to dodge it. Good idea. Diego will take a lot of damage here. Yeah, gotta be careful. But a lot of money over to this Viego. Who had a spray of the Rune King. Let's see what he can get afterwards. He has been favoring a lot of different items lately. He's been playing the Frost Fire Gauntlet a lot. Very interesting items. Going to get a plate here as well. Let's see. I mean, he's going to overstay. Like, the question is... Will he get a full item with this? There is... Yeah, I mean... This, this only is justified, I think, if he does that. But, yeah. So, bye is still quite behind the Irelia, but seems to be doing okay. Yeah, there, there it is, the Iceborne Gauntlet. Not a bad item at all. Of course, gives you uh, tenacity, slow resistance, and health. So, definitely not a bad item at all. Actually, I think that the tenacity and slow resistance kind of, kind of low-key uh, something that you wouldn't think about, but can be really good. Yeah, definitely not a bad item. Isn't good versus a full AP team, but 
very good versus a full 80 team which i mean this team is not full 80 right zeri does do a lot of ma magical damage but you know it's a lot of 80 as as full 80 as it you would find in the higher ranks as gragas will be possessed here once again Larry has to play this very slow the Vi will lock him down the rakan and the gragas can follow up and that is shut down going over to gragas but possessed here by yeah the viego very good dodge by the zeri but she is not aware how much more money this irelia has here as need her is going to dodge out on that one yeah i won't won't be able to collect the zeri here unfortunately yes. oh my god what is this hp value goodness me eddie what are you doing you madman you absolute madman The red team has slain the dragon indeed. I'm not sure about this one, Silas. Not sure that you win this trade. But he did grab that ultimate, which of course is potentially a good one. Gragas though, hunting. Won't find the Silas here. Vine, not quite with her ultimate up. But Silas will be able to clear out the wave before anything severe happens here. That's the Q, that's the R, that's the lockdown Silas. Silas is absolutely down. Goes down to Mr. Important. And we find need her in the side lane here, just kind of chilling. Getting some money. Godlike massive damage. And we're gonna be able to deal a good amount of damage here to the Zeri as well. Alright. Shutdown collected by Zeri. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. And the Yumi will pick that one. Or will be picked up here as well by Gragas. Gragas is absolutely huge. Mm, the exhaust. Plus the echoes of Helia. Kind of unfortunate. But Zeri still doing massive amounts of damage. Trinity Force on Zeri. That's a that's a sneaky pickup. I love it. Definitely not a bad item. Gives you much more HP than previous items. Larry definitely looking for some damage here onto the Gragas. Okay, Gragas not going to be tagged by that ultimate. Will CC Larry out of his Q there. And that is that. We have a life well pendant here on the Vi. Rather interesting. Fashionable and functional, huh? The teleport comes through. Q Max Vi will be on her way. Very good, very good. Viego finding that flank position here. Zeri is in danger. The power slide into the Viego, into the body slam, into the dead Vie Viego. No, dead Zeri. So we are going to pick up Yumi. Not necessarily the most powerful option, but let's power up that Gragus just a little bit. It's a movement speed here. Why don't we? That is good enough. Now, the side lanes are still going to be pushed here by the Silas and by the Graves. Oh, Graves getting a... Uh, Herald Slam. Yeah, might be able to get that Tower Bounty here. Very good. And if the enemy team tries to punish here, Larry is there in the back pocket. Only that it is two versus four. Definitely not the play that you want to make. Slow comes through. Graves will go down here for sure. Very beautiful play by the Gragas. Gragas will go golden and Hilarious just CC'd until Doomsday. And that Doomsday came quick, huh? All right, we're going to be going here for a Jack Show, of course. The Protein Shake. We all love it. But goodness me, this Gragas. Just look at him, dude. Then Dark Seal Stacks, Night Harvester, Shadow Flame. It's gonna get a Zonya here soon. 
<laughs> Silas definitely doesn't have bad ultimates available here, but... Wow, what a beautiful play by the Gragas. Missing the body slam and then correcting it with the ultimate, uh, with the flash. Still finding the pickup onto the Silas here. Very beautiful job. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Alright, well, I mean... We have a 5k gold lead, which, uh, you know... Or above 5k gold lead, which means the turret... Or the, the objective bounties are still gonna stay. Which um, is going to make this interesting potential comeback for the blue team here but not if we play like that although zeri will find actually the outplay here on to need her that's great that is absolutely what you want to see and if this baron is taken down here well larry that was a little bit optimistic but gragas will be left in the dirt here as well the comeback for the blue team oh my god as if they collect yeah if they collect the bounties here they are going to be back in no time Absolutely amazing through that Baron. Rakan, Vi, and Zai are available here. Larry, massive damage still available. And the Yumi, oh, beautiful stun here by the Irelia King. That's going to be a double. Zaya trying to play this out. Will be left in the dust though. Will be taken down here as well. Manages to pick up a kill onto the Zeri though. So that's not bad. Triple kill over to Irelia. Irelia, and one kill goes over to the Zaya. Not necessarily the trade you wanted, you know. We uh, we successfully closed the gap, and now it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be much more difficult to fight this. As of course, the Zeri kind of getting back into it, and well, Irelia is just incredibly strong. Once the Death Stance is available here. This Irelia is going to be a menace for everyone to kill right now. She's just difficult to kill for Gragas. I mean, she's kind of difficult to kill for most most of the team because of her damage. But she doesn't have a lot of resistances in comparison. But once the Death Stance together with the Jakshou come in, that's, that's going to be rough, man. That transforms her from this like kind of more aggressive assassin -y type into a very capable drain tank. So, kind of scary. Or Juggernaut is what we call it, of course, in Ling. Yumi will be going down. Larry, though, it is a one-man show. He will just take down everyone. Oh, but the Vi... No, will be taken down as well as need her. Looking for the pickup onto... The Irelia King will be able to get on out of there. But the Graves... Yeah, will be taken down here as well by Need Her. Need Her definitely still, uh, definitely still keeping his team in the game here. Very good job so far, but ooh the Irelia, ooh the misery. This one is going to be very strong as she's just looking to pick up a little bit of gold here for the Death Stand. Hmm, Kraken Slayer coming in for Need Her. He realizes that he's gonna have to deal a little bit more damage. And we're going to finish that off with a wit's end. Usually you don't get to the last item, but, you know, who knows? This game very vi very well might go the distance, given the fact that we definitely have a game on our hands here with Larry being this incredibly strong. But then, in th theory, right, Zaya Rakan Gragas should be able to resist the Irelia pretty well. But then it's uh, the Irelia King, so, you know. We'll see, we'll see. <sighs> the five man death ball as Eddie is going to be moving into that flank position. Capable to CC the Zeri pretty well here. Larry needs to be uh, needs to be in a good position here to set this up. Vi is trying to split up the enemy team. The ghost is activated here. 
Ooh, the flash comes out of Addy. Definitely respecting. Taking massive amounts of damage here. Oh, and that's actually really bad now. That's that's very bad. Yeah, Eddie was waiting for his team to move into a fighting position there, but of course it's hard to fight the Zeri when she has walls around to outplay you. And uh, these walls are absolutely, absolutely great for her to outplay you. Space her. Space you, still deal damage. Make it difficult for you to follow. Definitely not what you want. Trinity Force, Bloodthirster, and Runan's Hurricane here. Picked up for her. As, okay. The 131 will now commence. As, no, actually, Zeri. Just going to move in with the Irelia. And we're going to shove this out. Hmm. It's kind of rough. I think that, uh, I think that... Irelia King wanted to set a set a trap here. Vampiric Scepter, we are literally going for a shield ball next. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Static Shift, Storm Razor, and Navori Quick Blades here available for the Zaya. Interesting item choice. Ooh. Yeah, the Viego just perma spotted out by this control ward. Oh, the red team. Need to be careful not to get outspaced here by the Zeri. That That is like the main main problem with Zeri is that she can just outrun you. So if you don't manage to take her down in one fell swoop, it's going to be difficult to touch her again. This game, definitely one of them. Zeri will find a good amount of damage. The flash out of the graves, the flash out of the Gragas, that is traded. No ultimate used here by the side. So it stays interesting. As Eddie will find massive damage onto the Silas. Good Silas ultimate to peel off. But oh, that's unfortunate. The flash will leave Yego not capable of carrying this fight, unfortunately, here because he got exhausted. Did use his ultimate as well. And that is going to be the pickup here. The hand stiff by Larry and the Zeri. Absolutely amazing job. And rather unfortunate that Viego just wasn't able to do anything in that fight. But you saw, right? It's just the Silas flashing out there. And then the exhaust being dropped onto the Viego. Viego not really capable of doing anything. And thus, the Irelia had free reign. Of course, with Viego in the back line. Probably a little bit more difficult here to play for the Viego. But, you know... As a Viego of player, you are just wired that way. You just want to go in and take those transforms. And well, you know, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. In this case, absolutely didn't. But red team still in the game. Of course, only 800 gold difference here. Well, that's not correct, but <clears throat> very slight gold difference here only. Now it's 1k, right? 1.3 right now. There's ooh, massive damage here out of the red team onto the Baron. If we can take this Baron, that would be huge. But now we're caught inside of a very difficult situation. Is Zeri is able to outrun it? No, she will not be. And we are able to kite. No, Irelia here. This is absolutely a good situation. As so far, Gragas still alive. Larry. Will be hunting though and will find Eddie. Eddie was alive, but let's be honest here with ourselves. Eddie, we oh, okay. The Juke Mastery will be able to get out, and that's four people alive for the red team here. Actually, very good job, very good heist. As Eddie looking for the bait here onto the Silas. Silas will not take it though. Level 15 to level 16 knows there is a team in the back of this Addy. And we are looking for the Chemtech Dragon here. Two dragons. This could be the, the Soul Point Dragon. Yeah, it is the Soul Point Dragon, which is not that scary here, given the fact that, you know, besides when you m manage to take the Baron here, of course, the other team is in the driver's seat right now. The blue team here, most definitely in the driver's seat. 
And the thing is, right, this is going to be very interesting, but the thing is, like, this this is probably going to come down to just one big team fight around the Elder Dragon, where just everyone runs each other over, as the Zeri does have very good wave clear here, especially in a pinch. And, of course, the other team, not necessarily, but it has a lot of lethality and, you know, pretty good theme counter as well here. Silas ultimate is used, which isn't too big of a cooldown, right? 30-ish seconds at this point. So definitely not something that you're going to be crazy about. Yeah, 35 seconds. As Rakan will get on Audi. But Viego is sticking around, looking for stragglers. So this could be a good play or it could absolutely lose the game. So here we are going to stop the Irelia, however. If we are caught out here by the Irelia, the game just ends. We gotta be very careful. Zeri very capable of laying the chase down here. But might walk into a trap. The trap snap, but... Oh, nothing hits as we are solo diving onto the enemy team here. Beautiful Gragas ultimate is going to peel Addy into freedom again. Zazaya now going to recall. And everything is reset and calm once again as Silas moving to defend the second inhibitor turret that was laid siege to here. And he will probably not be able to... Nah, he's barely able to defend it here. As um, one inhibitor turret has been gone has been taken, has been made gone, rather. As the Gragas kind of just lurking at this mo moment, just looking for people to catch. And that was a very, very dangerous situation here. As the Zeri now does have a shield bow available as well. It's super difficult to play. Larry is full built, of course, and need her. Currently rocking the Iceborne Gauntlet, Wit's End, Blade of the Rune King, Kraken Slayer, and what is he going for with the BF sword here? Stormraiser? Question mark? Not sure. The Irelia, though, is in this fight, and she is diving into four people. And with the Silas together, they are able to lock everyone down, and of course, we win those. Gragas isn't there. And Viego just taken down. If he gets the possess here onto Aurelia, this game flays the other way. But beautiful and insanely quick play here by the Aurelia. Saya, so, yeah, though, will pick that one up. Will flash on out of there. And is safe from the Aurelia King for now. But Zeri Graves still available here. The teleport coming through on the Silas as well. Who actually this fight had pretty good impact here as well. That's just absolutely stupid how quickly the Irelia was able to move there. As now Zaya in a lot of trouble and Zaya will be going down. Very good play here by the Silas again. But one turret remains active. And thus this game shan't be over. It is 33 minutes right now and the gold lead is a 1k gold. And uh, well, it seems like we are pretty well matched up here, huh? Absolutely scary situation. I will be honest with you though. I think that the red team should be winning this uh, much harder. You have a little bit lesser Irelia player and you're good. Also, I'm still blaming Addy a little bit. I mean, this is Addy's playstyle. This is just what he does, but... I don't know if you can do it versus someone like the Irelia King, you know? Don't know if you want that strong of an Irelia on the enemy team. To be honest though, the gold, actually not looking that crazy. If you look at the stats here and you see that this freaking Zeri has much more gold <laughs> than Irelia right now. Well, Irelia probably gonna finish one item here. So Gragas knows how to interrupt people, will interrupt the Irelia here. Good thorn in the side once again. And this is the point where Viego kind of becomes uh, very, very weak. Unless you get a miraculous takedown onto their most important members, which is not going to be easy. Alright, we are full on diving on to the Irelia King. But Irelia King will still be able to live. Oh, that's the possess out of the Viego though. He will be stunned. He's diving on to the... Ah, the Irelia, the Viego, Irelia and Zeri will be able to dodge it. Oh my god, that's absolutely sad. As, ah, uh, now Zeri is capable of running everyone down here. And we just need to recall. Zeri, straight on going for the throat here. Oh, never mind. We are, we are pivoting. 
going into the Baron here. And that's so unlucky that, unfortunately, the Viego player wasn't able to pick up the kill onto the Zeri there. I mean, he was alone, right? If the Vi dives onto the Aurelia, she can't really do anything about the Zeri anymore as Zeri now. We'll be looking for the kill pickup here onto the Gragas. Gragas taking massive amounts of damage and will be taken down here. And that's very bad. It's very, very bad. Mm, that's not what you want. A lot of money now on the Zeri. Might even be able to get LDR here soonish. Could also go uh could also go for anti-heal though. Anti-heal, definitely not a bad pickup versus this team. We're picking up the Chemtech Dragon Soul, and yeah, you can see how weak the Viego feels, even with the uh, Irelia possessed there. Still, still, unfortunately, just not enough, as this Zeri is just absolutely crazy strong. And the fight's not really front to back enough for this Zaya, which is kind of the issue here, right? You would much rather have a straight up, just stand your ground type of tank. But not available in this game and of course Viego kind of a lost champion at this point of the game all right Baron goes over honestly for the blue team picking up the dragons definitely not a bad idea but I think for the blue team it would be much better to just give one dragon and then take the Elder Dragon. Because otherwise we now need to take two more dragons to get to that Elder point. You also don't want to give Chemtech Soul in such a close game, right? So. Alright, this is going to be a high stake situation. The blue team, of course, now definitely has the ability to just end this game. <clears throat> if they find a kill. Red team won't be able to end. So Well, maybe actually. Maybe they if if they catch everyone, then they are, but it's gonna be difficult to kill the Irelia and the Zeri. As Irelia will be taken out here. Flash comes out. Irelia down to very low HP. The Gragas ultimate, unfortunately, not able to do enough there. As Zeri now still has her ultimate available. Will take down the tower. Is absolutely a force to be reckoned with still. And, yeah. Aleri flashes out. But, <coughs> the Zeri is still absolutely crazy. Ghost flash available here for the Zeri. As Zeri also has her ultimate used so that one is coming up pretty soon for the next fight it will be up again and that's kind of rough but most of the most important members still have their summoners here of course scratch the irelia out of that list but everyone but that we'll see once gragas does have his flash here as well there might be a good body slam angle Although, it's not very likely in the way that this team team fights, right? And, uh, well, it's a, it's a very scary one. GA here picked up for Addy. That's actually a pretty useful one, is Addy. Straight up just gunning for the Irelia here. Irelia will be CC'd to death, but she is able to take a lot of damage. And, although her GA is proc'd here, the Zaya, very low HP left. Will not get the execute, though, as the Zeri... Goes for the throat, the flash forward, and she will secure this game for her. Was a valiant effort. Very well done by Nidor, but it wasn't enough with that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.